the lads. Well, How happy you Friday. You're nervous now, aren't you? Ah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, Don Curtin, who's fucking always here this time, <laughs> yeah. and Paul Kokeman. Yeah. Where did that name come from? It's from Germany originally. How far back? Uh, I think it's around 450 years ago. Keep keep this closer. Imagine it's a big black cock. Oh, I'd love them. <laughs> <laughs> closer, close, closer. Don't be afraid of it. But uh, it comes back from the name Fruit Closer, Center, closer. Rustler. That's it. And uh, so, yeah. Cattle rustler. Yeah. Go away. And fruit seller. Cheers. How do you catch cattle and do fruit at the same time? I suppose you get a lasso and you get up in the cattle and you get up to the trees to get the fruit. Uh-huh. And did you ever um, try and trace it back? We traced it back to uh, Hamburg in Germany. To It was there, yeah, I think 450 years ago. That's where, and then they left Germany to come to Ireland. I wouldn't and say there's too many Kokomans in, in your area. No. Between Kildare and Offaly, it's most of them. Fuck. Go away. And every one of them is related. Are you serious? Yeah, it's all from the one family. I, um, I don't think I've never heard of anyone. To... Don, you were at this long enough now. Keep that to your mouth now. Look, t- the top of it. Down a bit. That's it. <laughs> I'm actually getting new mics. Are you? Yeah, I'm getting mics that I can clip onto people's lapels. They're cool. Yeah. If everyone's looking at me now, I'm all... Look, Don Curtin's stuff. What did be- you say? We got new gear as well. Yeah. Always give your meat a good rub. Yeah. yeah. That's the best device. We'll and the boys are dressed in Protestant orange. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I'm matching. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you're doing it the right way anyway. You're going to be well lubed up for it. I'm matching to the pub. Jesus, I, t- I didn't know you were a rock shore man. Cider. Rock well, shore. I, there's nothing wrong with the lager either. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually a nice drink. Well, I've been told that it's terrible. Now hey I don't know I don't drink lager I'm bad Bad. That's cider Yeah I know I know I know I know Do you like common cider? (laughs) (laughs) No we have a dick in cider (laughs) (laughs) So lads Are you two truckers Are you? Yes indeed indeed. Well we'll go back to To this man With the massive name Yeah Right So where are you from? From Eaton Dairy and Offaly Always? Yep A big family? Uh, Two brothers and a sister and uh, where'd you go to school? Went to school in Dangan. So, uh, did you like school? Um, no, I hated it. Did you stay in it? Yeah, I had no choice. Why? Mother wouldn't let me leave. That's normally the way. Yeah. Even in secondary school? Oh yeah, not a hope. Not a hope in hell. Just and when I look back and I know she was dead right. Why? I think nowadays you have to have your leaving cert. Like it's hard enough to get work. If you don't have your leaving cert education, I think it's kind of important to have it. Hmm. And like I didn't go do an apprenticeship or anything like that, so I went working with horses. Horses? Yeah. Were your family into horses or did no. you just get into it? I got into it myself as a child and always loved it. And then when I left school, went working in show jumping yards. Uh, in the yards or show jumping yourself? I did a bit of show jump myself as well, yeah. Is that dangerous? It can be. You, you look very big for a jockey. Yeah, but I suppose with the show jumping, you don't have to be a small. Really? There's no real weight allowance, no. I, Is that, I would have thought that... They'd have to be um, jockeys, especially with short jump. Would have to be real, like no, 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 no. no. short jump, no. But I didn't. I, I, actually, I knew you were riding horses, but I didn't know you actually rode the horses. Yeah, yeah, I rode a lot. Yeah, I rode. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, just uh, it's the age you're older than me. <laughs> oh, I rode a lot. <laughs> oh, look at you! I never got sex till I was nineteen. <laughs> and like, is that? Uh, did it pay well? No. Just you loved it? Yeah, loved it. And were you good at it? No. Wasn't good. Like it was, I was okay, but I wasn't good enough to go on to be a professional properly. So like I went out to America then after a while and I worked in yards and that there. Then I came back to Ireland Then I moved over to Belgium for 10 years. Doing the same thing? Yeah, I did a little bit of riding there and then <laughs> I worked in yards. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's just not in my realm yeah. you know the, the whole horse jumping and the riding yeah. even when I was doing the podcast last week with Ian Horn the guy that travelled all over the world every, sometimes he'd say oh it you know, was a hard ride right? oh yeah <laughs> you know but um, and Belgium what's that like? I love Belgium it was a great country and what about the language? a lot of people speak English now you can get by, like, in some of the areas now, when you go down to the French part, it's more difficult because they don't want to speak English. No. They're just like the French folks. Yeah. They have no interest in speaking English, really, and 
But in general, no. And like, there was a lot of Irish and English people over there as well. And how long were you there again? Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. That was great. I worked for an Irish fellow over there from Galway. Doing what? Um, I was uh, doing the buying and selling of horses with him. He's a big trading stable. And then I used to travel to the shows with the riders and I used to drive the truck then to the shows. Is that how you started into the trucks? Um, I did a little bit of driving at home here for my brother. He's a haulage company and then, but mostly I started over there with the horses, yeah. Right. So that was brilliant. I loved it over there, getting paid to travel all of Europe. Why did you come home? Um, actually, I came back in the middle of COVID just because it went so quiet over there. Like Bored? No, it wasn't even bored. It was no work. There was mm. nothing happening. I was working for myself at that stage. I'd set up my own haulage company and it went to shit there with COVID. And then I, uh, Keen O'Connor, I did a lot of work for him. And then he asked me would I come to work for him then. Why? So I went to Florida for six months with him and then we came back to Ireland. And what were you doing in there. Florida? Uh, he brings a team of horses over there every year for the winter to compete from, say, December until this. Actually, yeah, I'd only come back there yesterday's horses. How do you get a horse to Florida? You fly them. Fuck off. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. yeah. Well, he used to go with him. There's only a few left on the plane, is there? Uh, we used to, the year I went with him, we took 32. So one plane just full of horses? Mm. And uh, flowers and containers of goods and cars, everything. So like little mini stables, just, just yeah. standing them. It's, it's they're, they're happy out. There's a crate and you can put either two or three or one of them. Really? And do horses not go mad with the, you know, the pressure and the... No. They don't care? No, like touch wood, no. I was on two flights with them and they were 100% perfect. That's but, crazy. I didn't know that. I thought it was a ship. No, no, no. no, no. They fly them. We fly them, yeah. We took off out of Shannon and we landed into Miami. Some going, no? Up onto the horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It was a great experience. How many people can um, go on the plane? Uh, three people. Three people. Yeah. And then you have the pilots. Yeah. And can you walk up, at, like, is it a big area, just empty, and you can walk up to where the pilots are? Yeah, like I'd say, it's the size of this room where we are in our seats, and that's it. And then the pilots are right in front of you. And then the rest is all for cargo. Big, how, big how big a plane? How big a plane? It's a big plane. It's a double-decker plane, like. That's mad. I never knew that. Yeah. And you went? Oh, no, I didn't. I just, I, I just know, I know. Like they're taking Parker. Oh. They're often telling me about it. You know Parker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he was telling me before, they have some gear, the in England. Don't we do over there? Yeah. They're just Don keep, keep this there. Just the, in closer. Just the, you know, the pointy bit. Just imagine the Jap's eye is there, right? Talk into the Jap's eye. Just pull it down a bit. Oh. No? That's, oh, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. But that's crazy. So when you get a horse that's coming from Ireland and you get it to Miami... Do they not have to... They're obviously competing. Yeah. So are they not at a disadvantage because of the heat when they're not used to the heat? Or it, does it care... Do it doesn't really bother them, though. No. They acclimatise very quick. Not mad. Yeah. And is that good money now doing that? Um. Yeah, I earned good money there with Keen. And um, why did you leave that? I got sick of travelling. That's a good reason. Yeah, like we were doing probably between 40 and 45 weeks of the year out on the road at shows. So we're living out of suitcase for that long and out of different hotels and then you're driving between all the cities and you come back for maybe a week or so then you'll pack up and go again. Oh. And I got just, I got sick of travelling. Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be hard. Yeah, some people say it's hard to live out of a suitcase. Yeah. Well, I, I'd done a bit of travelling when I was with Sean in the band. I found it fierce hard. Do you do Europe? Sometimes you do... Uh, you know, a week in Alicante or you oh. do, you know, those cruise things going on. So you might be flying to Spain, but mostly it was uh, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. And there was another time you go to the Catskills in New York. Go oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. They run these little, you know, for Irish clubs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just be speak now to all the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. Do you, do you, you wouldn't go to any of the show bags in New York, would you? No. No. You into that kind of music? I'd listen to it, but I wouldn't really go to follow it now or that. Daniel O'Donnell wouldn't do it for you now. Yeah, I went to the Hazel Tree to a few of them there. To, uh, Mike Gimver and them. And, but that's closed now, so... It yeah, was kind of flat, that's, that's fucked now since the drink driving. You, know? you can't yeah. drink driving now. <laughs> the, old people, the old people only had fun <laughs> <of> drink driving. <laughs> so, when were you married when you were doing that? 
No, no, single. He's single now? Yep. Oh, my God. There's a man now. I remember when I was on the lorry, right? We drew it. I won't say where we drew into, but there was a lad at the Weybridge. He was one creepy cunt. <laughs> and you'd go, and we used to dread going in there. And you'd go in and you'd be signing in and you'd be getting your docket and you'd go, look at a young lad like yourself. I'd say, <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you're getting some sex at the weekend, are you? Okay. And you'd be there, you'd be surprised how little we get. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd be there, no, I'd say you're doing some writing at the weekend. I'd say you get some sex to eat. Sure, women now are off sluts. And I, we were there, uh, no, we, I'm actually getting no sex at all. <laughs> he was the weirdest fucker. But they were everywhere though. Oh, Jesus Christ, that lad was, God, I'm dreading going in there. <laughs> Fucking hell. So when you left that, what you going to do? Uh, I took a break for around two months and then I was talking to my brother Anthony and I said to him, I'm thinking about stopping with the horses. Yeah. And he said to me then, uh, would you drive a lorry for me there for a little bit? I said, yeah, sure, why not? And I started with him and I haven't stopped. Cool. So it's just a little over What do you year. do? Uh, we draw stone. Uh, we draw a lot of stone. We have our own pit there where we're selling concrete. And oh, that, there's where the money is, yeah. boys. So just I, comes out with the ground for free. <laughs> 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 And then, uh, like, say I'm drawn, drawn out of Dublin every day, I'm drawn, say, the concrete that's going to be recycled. And we draw it down to our place, and then we crush it, and then we resell it. How do you recycle concrete? Um, say, you, you crush it. Yeah, we crush it. We put it into a, a big screen. crusher, and then uh, we sell it there to a lot of farmers and building oh, sites as road work. It, you don't turn it back into cement? Like no, it, it no, just no, no. goes into filling or something? Yeah, yeah. Use as filling, and a lot of people use it for roads. Oh. Yeah. As a filler, like? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I put it down as a base there for the road, and then they'll screen over the top of it then with the smaller stuff. Where in Dublin are you drawn out? Uh, just by the Red Cow. That must be torture every day. Four times every day. You just sit in traffic all day mostly. How do you watch all them cunts? <laughs> They're just the unbelievable. Cars swiping in and out. Oh, they don't give a shit. Standard has gone way worse. It's dropping all the time. It's so bad. And I think everyone in the car hates a lorry driver. They, do. Try, they try their best to get in your way as much as they can. I think they just don't realise what they're doing. They, they don't realise that you can't stop either. Like yeah. you, be, like, yeah. they just swerve in it. Yeah. You. And I think it's the younger crowds have gone brutal on the road. It's probably all on their phone. Yeah. I, I just think they're actually genuinely don't have a good feel of the car. When you were in Dublin every day, how many people did you see wanking in their car? Oh, you'd see four or five every day. There you go. I never see it in no, I seen the UK. UK was fairly fucking. You've seen loads of people wanking. Oh, yeah, and fucking sucking off and riding, yeah. fingering and everything. <laughs> well, the, the UK was unreal. There was one thing I had hate every night they used to do it. They used to actually do it like, I said it was their thing, the couple, like, um, go down the, the Protestants if down the, the road tricks again. <laughs> 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 down the 55, and uh, they'd, they'd pull up along, just stay along the side, you're on the roof light, and the one inside, she flicking the fucking letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's what the ball for. <laughs> I've heard a lot of terminologies for that. That's my first one with that. The letterbox. Did you ever hear the, no. about the letterbox? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking good one. A letterbox. I'm gonna use that. The letterbox. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, so. And uh, so that's what you're doing all the time now? Yeah, up and down from Eaton Dairy to Red Cow four times a day. So how did G2 boys get Buddy Buddy? We met, we made a duala last year. That's right, Duala. Yeah, yeah that's Duala. right. Yeah, yeah. Duala through mutual friend Stephen Dillon. Me and Stephen were going down to the show together and then we went down to meet Don at the horse and jockey. To have we, we went left into the show then because of the, yeah. the rain. The rain. So we went up to the pub. <laughs> we surrounded the pub above. So we said, we said to the one side, like, we have a barbecue, the whole lot caravan outside. Mm. Can we set up? <laughs> Did they mind? <laughs> we were taking. They were delighted. We were like settling down anchor. Lad, the one says, come out the back and I'll show you, she says. She's the nicest lady ever. She said, you can put the caravan around here. She said, and set up the barbecue out here. Give her a shout out. I can't think of her name. Oh, her for name. fuck's yeah, sake, it's, Don. The, it's the only pub inside the Duello village. Yeah. And she was the nicest lady ever. Uh, I think, was her who was working there? Was it her, her nephew? Son. Her son and her was nephew. Was it her son and nephew? Yeah. They were the nicest people. Because we were just expecting that that was it, the show was going to be. But then the rain stopped and we got a phone call. Look, go on, bring down, we're going to fill, we're going to, Open the field, bring a few yokes in. But we actually thought, look, the show is going to be cancelled, but we're, we're here. 
<laughs> we're, you're going to have crack anyway. We're going to set up. We're we had ground. everything with us. Mm. And they were so well. We had some crack, didn't we? Yeah, it was brilliant. And they were both, come on, come down now. We were getting settled the moment the pub. <laughs> <laughs> the, last year was such a disaster for all the shows, wasn't oh my it? God. With the weather. Terrible. This year is going to be, the, well, it won't because everyone's doing them in concrete yards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you can rain. Sure. Do you know? So what are you, you're wearing lovely little t-shirts there. What's what's this about? This is now we um, say in Eaton Dairy, Ryan Monaghan, who's with us, um, he uh, organized a Christmas light up run. Hmm. So after that, this year, we went for a few pints and he said to me, I want to do something for darkness and to light. I was like, okay. And he said, will you come on board? I said, yeah, no problem. Let's do it. And then he said, I want to go somewhere far. I said, what do you mean? He says, we start in Eaton Derry and we go somewhere far and we park up for a day. Because like I was thinking just darkness into light. We'll get up in the morning before it gets bright. We drive around and finish. But then he had a bigger idea. So I said, right, should we think about it a little bit? And then we pondered on it. And then I remembered actually in Douala last year, Don was talking about where he wanted to do something down in Cantork. Hmm. And then it was one Saturday morning. I said, right, Cantork, that's where we go. I sent Don a message around seven o'clock, told him the idea. And by nine o'clock, he got back to me. Yeah, we have the Martin Cantor. So that's where it started from. Yeah. You're done. And then just got into the rest of the boys in town. Yeah. Ronnie's, the Park Bar, McCarthy's, and just everyone came on board, just wanting to do whatever they can do. Get involved. Yeah. And it just fell into place. Then we kind of just put out on social media. And next thing, just people are so good. Yeah. People are just absolutely Every day of the week, knocking the door, bringing gifts and yeah. bringing spot prizes and wanting to donate and donate cards. They want to do their best. Great old bunch. Yeah. Great bunch out there. We've been this. very lucky. They've made it very easy for us. Oh, deadly. Yeah, like the prizes and everything we've got so far has been fantastic. And the money on the go fund me. And there's a couple of people now who have filled their sponsorship cards looking for second ones already. Like there was one card in Eaton Dairy and I don't know whose pub. There is 500 euro on St. Patrick's Day alone. Wow. That's um, good going. Yeah. You got a spot yeah. prize there of a full IBC of a uh, blue. Who give, who give that? Uh, Buddy, a good f- uh, b- uh, friend of us. Yeah. He's actually uh, coming on the run and he's bringing his fast track. It's the new fast track. What's, what model is it? 88? Oh, I couldn't tell you. It's the biggest one you can get in it. Yeah. Some oh, job. Yeah. Black rims. It is some. That, that does be driving around Tunnel more, does it? It would be, would yeah. Be, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that weapon. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, so he, he's going to come down. I think they're getting your low load, are you? Yeah, we're Bring it down loader, far yeah. as well or something. Um, what charity is this going to? It's going to SoSad. And that's like, it's a smaller version, say, of Pieta House or Focus Ireland. And they need all the funding they can get now. What do they do mostly? The Look After Suicide Awareness and... The... Stephen, I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> Stephen is very unprofessional. Like, he knows we're here, like. Yeah. I'm going good and tight. Silent. Yeah, you can answer to him and tell him he's a prick if you want. Stephen, I'm you're live. I'm gonna have to run out. You have to run out of your knickers. You need go away. More ticket books. Yeah. That's the job. Hold the speaker to the microphone. <laughs> These lads' microphone discipline is shocking. Hey, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. What? Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, go, are you back covered, Stephen, or a bad yeah, phone? Yeah. Hi. Go, <laughs> he's wanking in the lorry. Go on, we'll, we'll, meet, you, we'll meet you in Port Leach soon. Hello, everyone. Hi, my man. So, so sad are a group that look after... They look after suicide awareness and have a 24-7 helpline there for anyone who wants to give them a call. And they're just, they're a small organization and they need the help they can get. Where are they based? Um, their home base is in Loud and then they have an office here in Port Leash as well. Oh. And then they have a couple around the country. Um, so like if you're, any problems at all, you ring them or just? Yeah, or you can call about anything. A bit lonely or a bit depressed or just, you can call for anything. 24 hours? 24-7, yeah. Do them organizations, they would need a lot of funding every year, would they? Oh, huge funding, huge funding. Like to just keep everything going more than anything, keep their offices, keeping everything before they're even paying staff or they need a lot of money. Yeah. You know, like, and we're going to contribute as much as we can to them. Like, it's not going to be huge money, but if our money helps out one person, it's been a successful trip for us, hasn't it? Mm. Sure, it yeah. And when's the dates and when's all this going down? The 20th of April. 
The twentieth of April. Not too long away now. No. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. We'll be all polishing the lorries this day. Two weeks. And where are all these lorries going to be? If anyone wants to go, or if anyone wants to see him, and everyone. Three a.m. Eden Derry, County Offaly. Where in Eden Derry? Um, Tesco or is Tesco it? or Aldi? We haven't too many each other. Yeah. yeah, one of the car parks there. We'll see all the lights. And that's yeah. where it's starting from. Yeah, yep. starting from there. And people can go there and. Will there be buckets? Will there be yeah, yeah? There'll be people there with buckets, and anyone can come to see us off. Where and um, where's it going then? Over to Tracy's. Just the to Tracy's, yeah. And there'll be buckets there, and people yeah, can go yeah, see like, there. We're going to meet Don there now. Because there'll be, I'll be loading in Dublin. You know, I'll be dragging the load up to Derry, and there'll be a few others as well. The Friday, if they have the load, if they're loading Friday, they'll go a bit later, hmm. and we'll just pack up in Tracy's. We we'll meet up with them. We we'll go from there then down to Barack Obama. Pretty good. Put into Barrack Bama. There'll be a few, uh, I'd say, the Tipperary lights might shoot over uh, from there, meet us, or else Board Hill. So as the as it goes, people are going to be joining. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and if people just want to come and see, you know, yeah. uh, the convoy kind of coming in and out, then down to Board Hill, same thing. There's a few said Limerick lads might meet there, you know. Yeah, and I didn't think some of the carry lads said the the crew bypass. Yeah. So how long is it going to be? How long of a run is it? Sure, we plan to leave at three o'clock, and I'd say between eight and nine o'clock, realistically, we'll be back into Cantork. Nice whole journey. It is no. And yeah, then yeah. it's party time, is it? Yeah, we've yeah. Uh, we have Face Cook are going to be there to Face show. what? Face Cook. What's that? Chip wagon. Never heard of it. Face Cook, and. Uh, He's going to be there to show breakfast rolls for us. So he is. And um, so we chill out for a bit, let the people will be coming and going, see the trucks and stuff. Um, there's, I think Tom Lacey is bringing his truck, uh, Jason O'Connell, um, I think Martin Ryan. So there's going to be ni- nice rigs there. like. Mm. So let the people see him and lads will probably give him a wipe down anyway, do you know? And uh, so chill out for a bit. You said the tired, go on to bed for a bit. And we'll give an old walk up the town. How but much is it to enter a lorry? There's no entry, just just give a donation. Yeah, give a donation. Putting, no pressure so, on no nobody. pressure on anyone. No. Or we just, send out sponsorship cards to the drivers that are coming and they can get as much as they can on it or as little as they can, whatever. And if someone wants to get a sponsorship card, how do they do that? They can get in touch with myself or Don or Stephen or Kevin or Ryan, any of us. We all have cards and we can send them to wherever. That's cool. We'll me and Matt will put it down in the description, contact details yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. No problem. Job. No problem. Now fair play to you. It's it's amazing the amount of uh, work that truck runs all over the country and people yeah. do. Do you know they people and, and like you don't have time. People, none of no people that do these things actually have time. <laughs> no, no. And they just do it. Well, I think we work way better under pressure, I think. I, I draw yeah. fitting things in to the pure Plus there's a love. You love love the lorries, like. Oh, it's a oh, yeah. love. There's yeah, a little passion it. for it. Yeah. What's your lorry? Volvo. Volvo FH. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Volvo man. Yeah. Can't have done. Oh sure. <laughs> Can't have done. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I like the angry chicken, but my daddy liked Volvo, so I like <laughs> Volvo. Love Volvo. By default. What do you like about Volvo? I like the comfort of them. Don, do you like Volvo? <sighs> you don't like Volvo? No, I actually don't. Why? Of all the trucks. And, you, and you don't like the comfort of them? I, I'm too big. I find I'm too big for the Volvo. I just don't fit into it, and I find if you kind of sit up to try and get into the, into the bunk, the... The top of the cab here kind of comes back, and I always reckon to the shape of a truck or a box. I don't know why they built them that way. They just don't do it for me. I'm too big. I'm too big for them. I want something. I want not, no lorry. It's just not for me. Yeah. And <laughs> just too big for it. Did you ever drive an American lorry? Uh, once, or just not walk it. I, I, I drove it um, just, uh, I collected it in Tipperary. We brought it down. New one to, or an older one? Oh, an older one, a Kenworth. Plant to Shawnee Buckley in. Uh, in uh, in Cork, it's actually my house. When for you're into your lorries and stuff, do you ever look at the big American rigs and go, ah, ah, do you unread? Love to get a run. Yeah, unread. That's some job, but um, I've done that in America now as well. You did? Yeah, I can work as well. Yeah, crash gear boxes. Yeah, fuck, I don't know how anyone drives them. It's a lot of grinding. Uh, there is a lot of grinding, <laughs> isn't there? Grinder. Like, lads can drive them without grinding, can they? Or oh, you yeah. just grind them? Look at them American fellas. You, Something Are they else. dangerous though? No. Like if you miss a gear and you're on a hill. You should miss a gear in a car here. I know, but I'd be afraid I wouldn't get back into gear. 
<laughs> I'm like, fuck, she's freewheeling. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll get into some gear. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, no, Belarus, we had one time, I could never get a gear on. Or a nut field. It was like, <laughs> But I, and I, and I tell you, go when we were out in America there last year. We went into this, uh, we came down, we went from Nashville up to, uh, to where's Elvis' place again? Maryland. Right. Maryland. Went up there. And on the way down, we went into the truck stops with night time to see him, do you know? Hmm. And uh, we went into the store and the, the lad behind the counter, we heard this big noise. Uh, and it, you, you can only go in this way, you can't go out. The ramp is too big, right? Okay. But they're air suspension. They have airbags, but they can't adjust it like we do in the cab. We don't. On the front? No, in the back. The back axle won't. You know, Fuck there's, off. There's airbags there. There's no way of adjusting it. Have the tags ran? No, no, it is oh. double. Double. Yeah. And he went up the ramp and landing legs wedged. Stop. Yeah, and it wasn't cut too bad now, but we were there myself and Ian Ward anyway, of course. I had to, like, you know, if it was at home... The mountain lads sat in their trucks out there. No, most of them are banditos anyway, I'd say, and the Mexicans. And we said, nah, I had to go there, lad. Hold up the sleeves. <laughs> you know, look, look at it. And uh, it was very funny. Like, you know, just being Irish, just for, trying to tell us for us, just stop. Yeah. Just stop a minute. Stop. And we're saying, have you, have you, have you put up the air? There is no lever to lift up to thing. So, so was the airbag just for suspensions, like a shock? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah, just the one height. So it is. Fuck. So do you get to tell that? Come here, man. She will show you. The level you Take off this and you'll be able to put up the air. Do you know? Uh, like Ian, Ian is a mechanic, like, but the crack we had, like, we got him out of it. <laughs> like, and they land the shop, so they have to get a record and pull him back down off it. We said, he's not that badly stuck. We'll get him out of it. I said, and uh, eventually, <laughs> I was look. I, I think I videos there, some of it, like, Ian is one that's lad. Hey, hey. Ian Ward, he gassed it. Come out, come out of it, come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what you were saying. Yes, nah, he, didn't, he didn't get out of it. And uh, we, 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 he searched everywhere. No way could we find a levelling valve. And was it an old joke? No, a fairly modern uh, one. So it was. Uh, so we we, uh, we got out of me. We just told him. We got in underneath and we got the, the, the bars. We lifted them up manually. And just got it. You could just see the, the what you call it, the, 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 the cup and the leg. Just give it a little bit of give. And we said, she'll go now. She'll go. Get into now. Get into now. Give and, it to her. And by God, we got we backed him down the hallway again. Got him turned the whole lot. Did he throw you a couple of dollars? He came out He and his phone. He goes, what do I owe you? He says, so, he was sweating. Thank you so much. He said, I said, nothing, nothing at all. We were just delighted. And the two women were free. <laughs> <laughs> and the two were sitting in the car. They like, Jesus, what are these lads? They just had to <laughs> how, many, how many he went out? Uh, myself, Alfie and Linda. And uh, well, we went out to a family wedding, wedding to Charleston first. So there was a good few of the family out there. And then we went to Nashville. So there was me, Alfie, my cousin Alfie and Linda. And then Ian Ward and uh, Lisa flew out and met us there. And I never knew because we were on a book out. And they said nothing then to, to me, but they thought to uh, Linda that I was going. So I was inside Kid Rocks mm. the first night. They were already there before us. What's Kid Rocks? Uh, big, massive bar. Just Kid Rock. Is it actually his place? Oh, yeah, yeah. It is mad. Do you ever see his house? Oh, huge. It's like the, the White House, isn't it? It's a huge, big a mansion. A replica of a real old ancient mansion, or like are you sure? Are you sure that's a replica of the White House? It could be. It could. I yeah, think it's a replica it of the White House. Yeah, up on top of a fucking hill. Yeah, Fuck right up on top of a hill, looking for fucking hundreds of miles, right up on top of a hill. Huge spot. His bar is mad. Like it's mad. So it is. Like it is what? Like mad. What? Oh, the music and the best music and the the atmosphere inside. Artists. Was it big? Uh, not that big. Was he there? I didn't see him now, but it's a big uh, oval bar then. But I was just drinking with him, and my bands were going, and jeez, next day I sort of got tipped, and just, here was Ian, and he had a cowboy hat. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's the beer like out there? Uh, shocking. Yeah, but shocking. we went to a place, right? We were walking up and down. Now, it's extremely expensive there, right? And we were walking what, up and down. What's expensive? Fucking something like $12 for a fucking shitty bottle. Oh, fuck. Right? We were walking up and down, and I didn't know why I just didn't do it. There was one bar, and it kind of looked old, old kind of PVC kind of uh, 
windows and stuff and the old poster, the poster for years. It looked hard, looked mm. rough. And I said, and I, I was walking up and I stopped and I was looking in and it was the only place that had a bouncer inside it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd walk on. Huh? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like, well, like Linda, yeah. Linda said, don't, don't. <laughs> no, no, I'm attracted to those places. The rougher they'd be, the usually the better. I should have listened. We ignored it. <laughs> And next thing we said, no, I'm going to go in here one of these days. So or they, they weren't, oh yeah, they went back home because they were there before us. So I said, I'm going to that bar. The best bar ever. Hi. It's the oldest bar in Nashville. And it's the only original bar inside her. And that's where Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson and all them used to go when they were nobodies and they had no money. And they used to have this uh, meal inside, a bottle of beer, a moon cake. Do you like a wagon wheel? Yeah. Yeah. They call that mooncake out there. A bologna and sandwich. And it tastes the same. It's just like a, a yeah. biscuit, chocolate. Yep. And marshmallow. Yeah. And uh, a bologna sandwich, right? What bologna? It's like, it's like a ham or a, like a, like a. It um, looks like a lunch in me. Lunch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. That was like, That's it. Something like that. And, and it's fried. It's, you know, it just, it's toasted, you could say. And uh, there was a bag of taters and a bottle of beer called Lilt. Right? For six dollars. Fuck. <laughs> but were you going to I found in when I went to America, when we went to New York, say, if you're in Manhattan or in them places, all the pubs are real dear. But if you go out to the Bronx or Chinatown, things half are half the price. Half the price, yeah. So they were giving this deal for, for six. So I asked how much just the, the bottle? Two dollars. Two dollars fifty. Fuck off. So what? Two dollars. Fifty-six of them, please. <laughs> and we drank that, so we used to start off there. So it came to a stage, didn't we? We for most of the queer crack we had. We got talking to all the staff in there, sound. Then they told us, when it gets right busy the weekend now, don't go to the front door, go out the back door. Walk down. Charlie's in the back of the door behind, he's sound. Tell him you're after coming from here. We were, we'd haul back streets of Nashville. We used to go from one pub to the other. Oh, now, I remember seeing that. It was empty nearly the street. Empty. We was going to, we was going to back doors. That's deadly. And uh did the day we come in the next day while uh, stop playing. Oh the Irish are in. <laughs> How long are you out there? Uh a week in each. A week in uh, Charleston, a week in Nashville. We go back. Definitely, yeah. Do you Definitely. miss America? No. I hate it. Why? I just can't stand the people. Uh, where, where were you again? Miami? Uh, in Miami and then I spent time in Kentucky as well. I liked it there. I like Kentucky and uh, South Carolina. Yeah, they, in all the movies, they look really nice uh, places. They were class. Real country. Lexington, Kentucky, there. Like, that is what an amazing city. It's beautiful. Beautiful city. And it's there's so many Irish there as well. Over there in... in Lexington, yeah. Full of Irish. All horsey stuff. Yeah. All there with the racing over the years. It's not mad. You couldn't go a day without meeting an Irish person somewhere there on the road. Cool. Go into any shop somewhere there's an Irish person. And where were you living out there? I was living in a small town outside Lexington called Georgetown. On your own? Um, no, I lived with actually another Irish girl that was there at the same time. She was working in another yard. So I was, I was great. I was there for six months. I loved it there. So you've done a good bit of travelling? Yeah. Yeah, I've travelled a lot. And you don't want to do it anymore? No. Not Burnt out of it? Yeah. Go for a holiday. That's about it. So if I could say to you, you can go on the holiday tomorrow, where do you want to go? Um, I love going down to Rome. How many times have you been there? Um, I've been once on holidays and probably four or five times at work. What do you like about it? I just like the city and I love the food down there. I love Italian food, love pasta, pizzas, things like that. I love it. Is it as busy as everyone says? Yeah. Just oh, always I packed. Fucking drive in there with a lorry and you know how busy it is. And they don't look at the lines over there. They'll just fucking... Everywhere? Go, oh, everywhere, anywhere. They'll be on top of you, the lads coming in with little mopeds and scores. <laughs> fucking... Oh, the lunatics. <laughs> Fucking lunatics. <laughs> I'm terrified on mopeds. <laughs> I think they're terrifying yogs oh, to drive. Fuck. Don, do you ever go on a moped? No, <coughs> no like, I don't like the two wheels. <laughs> you'd be like a bear <laughs> on a bicycle. <laughs> 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 I'd nearly pay any money to see you on a moped. <laughs> should be some you have to take off the clutch. You'd be the... <laughs> <laughs> did you ever do, um, did you ever have a motorbike? No, I hate them. I hate two wheels. I think four wheels is hard enough to keep in control. Never mind two. And are you into cars? Not really, no. Lorries? Yeah. And do you do up your lorry? Yeah. Do you shine the shite out of it like Donda's? Yeah. Every week? 
not in the winter now, but now that the good weather is going to start, yeah, I definitely will more. Do you love the truck shows? Yeah, I love ah, them. There's some crack. Love them. I think like last year was my first year doing truck shows. And it was a bad year for truck How shows. How was it your first year doing truck shows? Because I was gone for so long. And I was always, even when I was kind of back here in Ireland, still was traveling. The main time was our summer. I'd say so. When you went to the truck run last year, you were there. Just I didn't know these were as big a thing. I know I'd come to them before, but I'd never brought a truck. Like if I was at home for a weekend before, I used to go with my brothers and my nephew and that. We'd go to have a look. But I never had a truck ad. And or you just go in to have a look for a few hours and you'd leave again. Oh, it's some crack. I, I, I used to love going to the truck shows. It's so hard though with the forestry stuff, a truck show or a truck run, you're nearly stopping the lorry for two days to try to get clean. Oh, sure, yeah, there's oh, a bit of work, yeah. Do you know? But you do have to start a bit, like you... You just start you, a week before. You would, yeah, you have to start uh, a week before. That, that, no, when you take, there's a, me and you talked about it before, there's different levels of lads, you know. Yeah, you have one, someone that keeps it clean yeah. and then you have someone shines it up and then you have Mr. Particular. Yeah, you know, that's like oh, there is like I'm not shining. one of the Mister Particular now. Oh, like, you know what I? It does does worse than way worse than fucking each year than I am. Oh yeah. So who do you think is the most particular? Who has the best lorry in Ireland? Glenn Chambers. Uh, Glenn Chambers, yeah. Because he said that at the same time. Yeah. It's an outstanding rig. It's a truck and trailer, like yeah. And the insider is just fucking. Does that lorry work? Real. Oh, S- sorry. Non-stop work. Does that Larry? Oh, oh yeah, you know, he's away all the time. He's all over Europe and Sweden, yeah. everywhere, and all Ireland. The last two weeks. Yeah, you know his sights, and and he he will do anything, go anywhere, and no about him. Yeah, but I'm really looking forward to seeing Gavin Crilly's new Larry now. Oh my God! What's that? Oh, Volvo. Volvo FH, yeah. With new Pizzaroli trailer. trailer oh, yeah. I seen it. I seen oh it on Facebook. man! Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. He was a great man always to my Larry's. Oh, he's up in Loud, isn't he? That's right, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we were working up in Loud and he was we used to see him in that time. That he looks amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. Beautiful colour. Yeah. Yeah. Although Perfect. you never see anything with stripes now. Like, Pin, you know, yeah, the pinstripe on it. The pinstripe. Yeah. Normally things are a, a single colour yeah. now. Yeah. But the, do you remember when back in the 80s and the early 90s, do you know like A-Team and Knight Rider and all those things? Remember the American Jeeps? And they all had this two-tone with this stripe on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's coming back. I think that's deadly. So everything does a full circle at some stage, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I can't see myself putting it on the rafter now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to clean it first anyway. Yeah, yeah. There's no way in cleaning it. It's fucking so bad. I feel so bad. It's so dirty. I have a wife at home that is freaking out. She makes me park it on the lawn. Because <laughs> the mud drip you off it. Because I got yeah. up one morning and it was like, I mean, uh, a full wheelbarrow. Of stuff had dripped off because I came home, I parked it, then it rained, the muck just dropped. dropped. Well, after. Oh, Jesus, it was so much fucking. Uh, so I don't, I'm trying to get, uh, I have a yoke off for work now. Oh, I have a oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're spoiling it. No, I fucking bought it myself. <laughs> Boys don't spoil me. Greg kicked the shy on me. He's going to kick the shy out of you now. Don brought t shirt for Greg. And I think it was, uh, he got me this. He, he gave me this, huh? She's lovely, huh? Well, he got Greg a 5XL t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he got his arms into it. <laughs> He'll fucking have a baby. Do you know that fucking half, that stupid fence that fell down there, 40 year old, and we cut in trees. Like, we, we have a sawman that we're paying, and we have to wait until there's a river, then you have the fence, and like these trees could be five, six ton them. The wind has to be blowing the right way, or you know, they're not going to fall. You can't have them fall again in the river. So we're trying to cut it out. And things fall, trees break, and a little bit of fence, maybe 12 foot got knocked down. But it's fucking, the fence is there's nothing there. He goes, the farmer freaking out over me good fence. <laughs> His good fence. Hey, like, uh, you know, we had another contractor up the road and they never hit the fence at all. And Greg was bowling over. Oh, he was there, they're going to get a new fence anyway. Uh, you know, Quilger, once they planted, they're going to do it anyway, but yeah. they have to ring, give an hour about us and our work. Greg's bullet. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Because oh. Greg, you have to calm him. You know, he's real quiet until he's not. Is it bad then? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Greg's a fucking thick man, boy. Greg often bit shy of us. When Greg, Greg used to babysit us when we were young, guys, right? I mean, daddy would go off, and if we'd done something wrong, he'd, he'd say, See that spot on the wall? And he'd make us turn again the wall. And he'd say, hey, I'm going to come back. There'd be no spot, right? He'd say, if you don't know where that, what, that spot is, I'm going to bed the shit out of 
Uh, and he fucking would I broke his fingers one day I fucking kicked him And broke his fingers Actually we were always Fighting each other When we were young I love the story About the football match The fight That was a uh, hurling match A hurling match Yeah That's not a story That's a real thing <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ yeah Oh god Greg doesn't like Talking about that Oh fuck And uh, come here Any What's the plan then For During the summer Of Yant and Plander Sure, our first truck show is going to be in Tullamore now, the Evolution Truck Show. And are you involved in that? I'm doing a barbecue on the Saturday night. Will the cowboy dust be there? It will indeed. Anyone? Are you doing the barbecue? Uh, my Stephen Linda, yeah. Going to be flipping the burger? Yeah. Don, tell him. He won't be able to flip burgers. He'll be too busy getting pictures took and you know, signing autographs. And... <laughs> Let me know if you're there. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's air a puddle, he'll be in it. So. Yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, like that's right. <laughs> Don's into the cold plunging and everything now. I went with him. I brought him out. Yeah. Do you mind it. doing it? I don't. <laughs> the first reaction is tough, but actually after that, it was class. I'd love to go again. Do you do it? Sure. What's stopping you? I have to find somewhere around here. Any puddle will do, says Don. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. We went down to Kentucky there two weeks ago to kind of see the mart and to meet everyone there in the pubs and that and. Then the Sunday morning or Saturday morning, Dan said, come on, we'll go to Bally House. And it just was class. Oh, I loved it. You came down for Cheltenham, Friday yeah. at Cheltenham. We had a yeah. great day. Did you put any bets on? Well, yeah, we made yeah. some money. Yeah. We made, And do you know what happened? Went to a horse running called Better sure, Days. you were into the horses. Yeah. Do you follow it? Yeah. So you'd know, would you have an inside track of who's no, going to win? you wouldn't have much of an inside track, but I'd be following the whole time. You'd have a fair idea. I was, you know, I was we nearly did well. lucky. I was nearly lucky now. So... Is it just guessing when you put a bet on a horse or would people fairly know? Uh, you'd know. Ah, you'd have, people know. The farm, there there is, the jockeys. Yeah. and You can follow it enough, but then anything can happen as well in a race. You know. I've never put a bet on a horse. You're probably better off. I'm such a loser. I never, I, I've never been in a bookies. Go away. No. Never. Never. Probably better off. Kind of afraid to go in. <laughs> I wanted to a few times. A few people to message me, this dad's going to win. And then I walked in and I said, I'll get better up if we go in there. But didn't uh, we just copped in the thing? There was a horse running called Better Days Ahead, yeah, right? The last race in Shetland. So I said, fuck it. I goes, uh, I went to everyone inside the pub. Hey, lads, come on, give me a fiver, give me a fiver. I'm putting on here for a charity. Come on, give me a fiver. Lads were giving 50s and 20s and the whole lot, right? Put it on. <laughs> walk into the bookies with like 300 euro. <clears throat> horse won. Won 600 euros for the charity. Bait, bait that, lad. And he was an outsider. Yeah. Bait that. Yeah. Bait that. Don got me gambling at the last wedding we were at. Oh, yeah? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I never knew. I, it was such good fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it gave me a little taste for the gambling. What did it you was, bet on? What was it, Don? On the how long the speech, the best speech man's was, speech was going to ah, be. That's at every wedding. I have never seen that before. No? No. Or else there's one thing for every time they say something. Yeah. The thank you, you keep passing it. That's Passing not, the money. Yeah, you put the money into the, the cup, into the thing. So you put it here. So then when they say, I want to tank, it goes on, I want to tank, and I want to tank. So, do you know? Oh. And you keep going around. So wherever it stops, then. I'm buzzing over now because every wedding now that goes on now, I want to do that. Right, which it passes away, though. I have a heap of weddings this year. Have you? Oh, Jesus, yeah. And communions, <gasps> confirmations. I have the whole lot. I, I have a wedding in Greece, but not going to I'm going to the Tipperary truck show instead. Yeah. Looking forward to that. You'd rather go to that than the wedding? Yeah. Don, if you didn't have a uh, lorry, would you be into cars? Would you go to car shows? Well, probably, yeah. I'd like to. Do you go to car shows? Um, not really. Do you know? Not as many as I should be going. I'd like to go to more than mine. I've never been to one. They're not as fun as... Um, the car scene is good in Cork. Huh? No. But there's so a good what? car scene around here. There's a good car scene in Cork. Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a weird one, the car scene. It's not as um close as the truck no. scene. You know, yeah. when you go to a truck shop, it seems to be like it's more of a family. A yeah. Fam- you know, family. and everyone kind of knows each other. Yeah. And there's a bit of crack. Oh yeah. Whereas uh, car shows, they're a bit standoff. Standoff. Yeah, I suppose they're all doing their own kind of thing. Yeah, there's and more there, of a- there's loads of because you have your Ricky Boras. You have your expensive stuff, you have your yeah. race things. I think there's a bit of a separation in them or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not as um, close near. No. no. You can't be at the, the Is there in. any lorry industries? I'm just putting it out there, devil's advocate, that are all dickheads. 
Like, is there any crowds that are all dickheads? What, like a company? Yeah. Well, I would say You don't say have to so. give the, the name. but I would say so, yeah. 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 There was one company in the north, and when I used to come off the boat in Hollyhead, I used to hate to see them coming behind you. Just being ignorant or... Yeah. Wouldn't talk to anyone? No, just the way they were driving. Oh, dangerously. Yeah, like when you come off at Hollyhead heading down, it's, it's a rough enough road there for a while and they had no fear. How many trucks has your brother run? Um, we have, there's what I'd say, 12 trucks, 14 trucks. And do you get hard to get drivers? Yeah. It, well, no, it's easy to get drivers, but it's hard to get good drivers. Because most of our work now is uh, the grab hire work. So you need someone that's good on them cranes and that it's as grab well. grab hire. So, so you're going in and you're picking up the yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's mostly our work now. Then we have two Arctic straw now to Dublin every day. But Well, I'm just letting you know that I am the king of grabs. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've plenty enough practice, anyway. Yeah. Plenty enough practice. Yeah. But it's hard to get good drivers for that now. Are they heavy? Which? The, the grab lorry. Yeah. They wouldn't be heavy, no. Is the grab lorry uh, rigid? Yeah. It's an eight wheeler. And then it has the crane just in behind the, the cab. So it's not an Arctic with the crane no, behind the cab. But you can get them as well. So do you load the Arctics? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes if we have a big job on, there's a lot of stuff to get moved. Then we bring the Arctics up. If you can get them in around the place. Or then maybe we park out the road somewhere in the grabs. Lorries are going. They'd load up, come out, load us. And then we'd hit it down the road. And is the grab lorry the same as the timber crane? You're sitting up on it on no, the king no, post? No, you're just standing there. If there are six levers in front of you. Yeah, do they not have a control thing now, no? Uh, well, maybe they're half finger. Is it hard, hard C? Are they still all individual levers there? Yeah, yeah, it's still, what are they? Uh, yeah, it's six individual, individual levers. What are you? Six? Six, yeah. What are just stage you going to joystick yeah. thing, no? No, 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 no. no Jesse, no. you'd be good at fiddling with the letterbox then <laughs> after a few weeks with that. <laughs> but you have it on both sides then as well, so you can do it off your off side or good side. That must be slow. I, I don't use them. I can't. You'd be like, you know. Ah, oh, but you see the lads, they're brilliant at it. Oh no, I, I'm when back in the day, the first forwarder that were out there, you know, the five, seven, eights and all them old ones had the six levers. Yeah. They they looked like remember me brothers and yokes working them. Garrett would work them. I never did. I was in school, Garrett was working. Garrett was working, he was thirteen. Chip working a chainsaw. I was sitting at home pulling me pulling me wire. Wanking myself to death, <laughs> crying myself to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Hating the thoughts of going to school the next morning to be called fucking rathead all day. <laughs> when, I, when I was a young man, right, I used to have to go to school. I used to have to go to bed at night, right? I had braces, right? And this was old school shit now, right? My teeth were so bad, right? I could have had an, ep- an apple out through a letterbox. <laughs> I had to put this big brace on and I had to stick the bars onto my back teeth. And that bar came all the way out and then looped around here. And what? then I had a head brace on. I stopped. I swear to God. And the head, bra- yeah, the head brace went around me here and I had to loop it on here and loop it on here. And I'd sleep like this every night. <laughs> and I'd wake up in the morning with crusty fucking <laughs> drool all over the place. It was horrible. And your, your teeth, my teeth for a whole two year felt loose all the time. Because when I take that off, my teeth would be after being pushed back and then... I had to go in and get um, I had to get four teeth out I had to get an operation and everything Go away Oh really That's the way my teeth were Fuck it Brutal Yeah Sucking too much dick when yeah. I was younger <laughs> 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 My two teeth I got in Because I fell when I was in national school Hit off the wall Drove the two of them in I swear to that way I'd, But I never got braces from You don't need braces These two front ones And now, now they're, they're wearing They're getting very sharp and Why are you wearing them off? Pine bottles. Did, uh, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Pine bottles. That's good cramp on my foot. Have you cramp? My foot. You all right? <laughs> take, your, take your shoulders off. <laughs> don't, br- don't break that fucking chair. <laughs> Between you and Greggy, if that chair broke up and shy. All right, here live, you can see Don Curtin having a fucking... <laughs> <Stretching> out. <laughs> having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a fit. <laughs> are you going on the beer tonight now? Well, yeah. you're on it now, but you're going on it heavy now. I'll go for a few. Oh, the boys are inside. Yeah, we're going to have a committee th- meeting after this. Yeah, this is my first time eating. Um, my first time eating uh, Ryan, yeah. and I've only met uh, Kevin 
uh, once. Who's be, Ryan and Kevin for the listeners? The, 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 the other organisers yeah. with us, the, the rest of the, the group. So, so how many of you are involved in doing this? There's five of us. Five. Well, there was two more, but they pulled out. Why? <laughs> Don't know. God, it's got very quiet there now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's got quiet, but the only thing I can say is there must be dickheads. <laughs> if that's the case. But we have a nice team now. Like, say, Ryan now, he organised the Christmas light-up run in Eaton Derry. Kevin, he used to organise a Honda 50 run up into the island of Donegal. He's done that before. And then there's myself and Don and Stephen. So like, we have a good team of people now and we all get on well together. So... It's working well so far. Kevin uh, actually is involved with this. Uh, his local pub have the the hand of fifty and the bar stool. What? Did you ever see, you ever it? see it? No. Oh, it's class. Hand of fifty bar stool. And um, oh, it drives out. Yeah. So uh, that he does a hand of fifty run. So that's. Uh, to be, yeah, he's, he's good as gold. And to be fair, yeah, no. great, a great team of lads now, and we yeah. never once fell out, fell out like. No. Oh, is there a lot falling out in the truck? Well, no, and he organising anything. When you five fellas trying to organise something. Yeah. So, like, with us, to be fair to him, I suppose I'm the awkward. <laughs> Are you awkward? Yeah, about certain things. I don't think you're awkward. Are you awkward? Oh, I can be. Well, if I don't, I don't. Just certain things have to be. Everyone doing their own, own bit, and there was no. Just, I, I, it went as smooth, like I never seen. Yeah. And everything fell into the place. and... It's growing and growing and just, yeah. just great. It's going to be a savage day, like especially the last couple of days. It's really exploded a lot yeah. more from people getting in contact and sharing things, and you see it a lot more everywhere now. That it's the last couple of days. I think people are they want something a bit laid back and a bit of a crack. Yeah, it starts less off pressure. A, it starts off the truck show season, kind of in a way. Yeah, big run. We're all getting together. We're all going to have a bit of crack. Then it's for a good cause. At the end of the day, what's the biggest truck run or the biggest truck show? Biggest truck show it would, used to be, be full, of full of the pipe. Yeah. Uh, no, it was Duello. It's full t- of the temporary, pipe. Temporary truck show. Full of the pipe is now. In Mandela, it'd be a smaller scale. I, I think they. I think they, they went actually too big. They actually went too big. What? Why, what happens when it's too big? Uh, public liability. Uh, event. Event license. It gets oh. way more complicated the bigger it goes. So it does. Uh, you have to get an event license. You have to pay for that. And if they're not happy with it, you could be shut down who, a week who's, Who are you getting that off? The council? It's the council and the guards, I think. And basically, that is just paying, giving, greasing them just for the... Really? Yeah, and you have to pay big money, I think, for them to be at the, the roads after the event when they're leaving and stuff, do you know? When it gets too big, it, it gets it What gets was harder. the best truck show you were ever at? The best what truck What do you think show, was the perfect one? Perfect size... Perfect. I think full of the pipe when it was in Cavan, above in the horse. It was in yeah, indoors Kevin's. and outdoors. I think there was definitely three years in a row. I'd say one was maybe better than the other. It was such a brilliant atmosphere up there. It was unreal. So it was definitely one of the best times. I was there. I was there with, twice with Collins's transport, and I was there twice, I think, with Philip Ryan. Once with Philip Ryan, actually. And I think those three years are definitely the best. So do you uh, yeah. just some crack. Brilliant. And uh, so that's that's amalgamated with some other crowd now, so it's uh, down in Tipperary. No, no, full of pipers still. They're in Mandela. Oh, that's in Mandela, but smaller. Yeah, but smaller. They, they, they went to Punchestown then and it, it just went huge. So who runs that? Uh, Colm and Kevin, from they're from uh, Innes. And they've done that from Gecko? Oh, they're doing that since, oh... I'm trying to think what year did we go to Tatlone. Oh, it actually first started off in the March 90... 07. 06 or 07 in the March in Innes. Then it went to Tatlone and then it went to Cavan and then it went to Punchestown. I was in Tremor at one stage as well, wasn't it? No, no that, that, that was, that was the Waterford, Waterford boys. That was the Waterford lads. That was a good truck shot. Brilliant. That was brilliant. And it's come back this, this year. Yeah. I was out to Jason. I said to him, if if full of the, if if Waterford now will have uh, something hard standing, I guess we'll do them all now. Like when that I went to that one year when it was in the college, was it? The, the, the industrial race. state. Yeah. In the, yeah, it was really good. Oh, brilliant! But I don't know what happened there. I don't know why they left there. They just never left that. That was great because it was such so big. It was probably money. I thought that was something that someone be give you out. But just having your raptor boys come on the run on the twentieth. Sure, my problem is my time. 
I, uh, well, I, I, what, what do you do at three o'clock in the morning? Yeah, what do you do then? <laughs> what am I doing? Well, I try and sleep a bit every day. Right? Oh, here we are, the two boys with no chaps, right? <laughs> Telling me about having time to do stuff. I have fucking no time. I'd lo- if I have time, I go to it. No bother. I uh, reckon yourself and the boys uh, into Morgan there with the... Get your raptors. Yeah, no, I'd love to. Because there is a few lads coming with vans and that under them as well. Is there? Yeah, there was a fella from Bagnastown got on to me the other day. Him and his daughter <laughs> are coming up from Bagnastown and then they're going to come up to Eaton Derry and go down and spend the day and then come back up again. Yeah. Uh, look, if I have, um, if Vicky's uh, around home and uh, it works out, I'll go. Well, um, it is. I'd need to get a GoFundMe page to help to do a run like that with Raptor. <laughs> 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 that yoke's using 300 euro worth of petrol a week. Jesus. Stop, I know, and I'm only working around home. <laughs> I know, it's fucking shocking. It was a horrible financial decision, if I'm honest. It looks well, though. Ah, it looks grand. You see, I thought I was supposed to have a... I was going to buy a little van, you know, for driving up and down, and then... I changed to a limited company and then they were saying I needed a year's books <laughs> to do it. And then I was there, ah, fuck's sake. So I bought an old cheap York and I thought my dad's Jeep would be ready as well. And then that's taken fucking ages. Mark Mayer is a fucking cunt, by the way. <laughs> Bad timekeeping. And uh, yeah, get a new chassis for that and everything. Oh, fuck. Why can't you just jig it? I don't think it'll work. Gone off the slap, seemingly. Uh, but sure, how, how, many, how, sure, how long ago? Want the grand dollar long? Never done that. Dad bought that and never drove it. Yeah, but sure, what would it be? be all, a, it did was go, all it did was go up to the old house back, uh, looked at a few cattle, and then went to the bog once or twice a year. What was it that bad? It'd be a bit hard on a tyre. I'd say two sets of tyres he had on it since he got a new. Yeah, but sure, so why did you keep it the way it was? Like, was it, was it obvious by the eye? Um, it wouldn't steer. So when Daddy had it, it was just the normal wheels on yeah. it. Yeah. So what I done then, I got all the chassis fucking sandblast and got everything new on it. And then I put everything big. So new shocks, widened it, big wheels. So I put everything bigger and wider on it. So as I widened... It, it, it brought the problem worse. It, brought, it made the problem worse. And when we put everything back together and we were putting everything new on it, uh, Tom Phelan rang me, he says, Chase, we have a problem here. I'm only noticing it now. Like, it, like this yoke is after getting the slap. And I, I, I'm only noticing it now. Like, I mean, one wheel, you could put your fist in between the wheel and the wheel arch. Yeah. And the other one rubbing up again. It. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Couldn't even steer. And because daddy was never driving it that much. Right. It, the only time you'd notice it is that. Like, it was always all over the road. But it's a fucking old trooper. Yeah, they're all yeah, fucking. Yeah. They could be giddy yeah. anyway. Yeah, they're all like that. And if he had been doing a lot of miles, you'd have noticed it wearing the tires or. But never noticed it. Fuck it. I know. So I don't want to do it wrong. I want to do it right. So is what it? is the actual story? So cut a whole, out. New, whole new chassis then? I, I might have to get a whole new chassis if it can't be done properly. Because I'm not going to do it not properly. I thought they can jig them not. They can put them in. I think it might do more harm than good. Right. I don't know. We have to see. If I could get Mark and Mara to fucking do it. <laughs> He's a busy man though. He turns out some stuff, doesn't he? Oh, Jesus. That, huh? lad, that lad. He's making jeeps for princes. Go out, away. Out in Dubai. He's not. Oh, yeah. He is. He's a fucking whore, that lad. Nice chap. Richest, be richest man I know. I know, I know. You, it's a yard you I'd hate, <laughs> I, I, I hate to go up there. Yeah, like deadly notions. Oh, uh, he's He puts uh, BMW engines in them troopers. I even to ask him, do you ever see the ones that are in Dubai and they go up to sand dunes, the yeah. petrol? Yeah. You have to know what engines in them. They're 4.8s. Yeah? Yeah. And do you know over in... Um, in the Emirates and stuff, you can buy them brand new still. Go away. Yeah, you can buy all them brand new. And they're not allowed to sell them here. They're all petrols. But you can, yeah, you can buy new ones over there. You can't buy them over here. I actually seen there, came up on uh, done deal today, the 4.4 uh, X5. X5? Yeah, the petrol one. Would you buy one? It's a twin turbo one. Uh, an Alpine. I'd love it, yeah. It's fucking some Jeep. Get it done. There's loads of Egypts out there by petrol jeeps. Next there's year. There's more than you think. <laughs> hey, there's more of us out there than you think. Next year, no. And don't give me that shit you can't afford it. Neither can I, I'm just managing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a kid's, you're not going to have another. Oh, uh, well, I'll fucking pop another one out. <laughs> She's mad to have another. So why not? Yeah, why not? I know, you have some catching up to do with me. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> 
Vicky's back to work now. So I do have to get the kids out in the morning. And I only changed the baby's nappy for the first time after she went back to work. Traumatized. And she's lucky to make her work it though. Ah, sure, look. She had to go back to work. She's going mad at home. She likes her job. You know, she likes looking after all people. Where did the baby go? I didn't during the day. There's a little box underneath the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've babysitter. It holds it. We've we've a babysitter. So I take uh, you know the kids' school. Take Jane to the play school, and because he's small, he can't go to the play school. So we've a babysitter. Right. Babysitter up the road, and we just take her, take him into there. Aren't you lucky? I don't know, fierce lucky. Do you know? That was the biggest worry before she went back to work. You know, somewhere to put yeah. the baby. It's hard to give a baby to someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I don't even like mating the baby. <laughs> he's crawling forward now. Going quick. Ah, oh, fucking going quick. So, boys, what's your plan for the night? Are you going Port Leash party? We're going to Rhine, I suppose, for a few points. Yeah. Sure, figure it out as we go along. Don knows every pub in the country. <laughs> Don, you, you, you know all the places to go in every place in the country, don't you? Not a good spot. Yeah. But I did the last time, or the last, I don't know what time, in Port Leash. And uh, I don't know, I, I like my early, I like to point early in the morning. And I uh, woke up Saturday morning. <laughs> what do you mean, like a pint early in the morning before you go to work? I uh, know, on a Saturday, like, or <laughs> when, you're, when you're out, like, yeah, yeah. Like tomorrow morning, now I'll be going for a pint about 10 o'clock. Um, Pre breakfast? I'll have swim and breakfast done by then. I'll be up early, you know, you see. So we'll be, we'll be down, we'll have a swim at 8 o'clock in the morning. Come up, have breakfast. But the last time we were in the hotel, it's a fantastic hotel, but Linda went back up, she said she'd chill out for a bit in the room, she'd go back for a nap. So, mm. excuse me. Nap. I said I go for a I go for a pint, so I walked down the town, and I just know I just had tell a fella I knew by this fella to walk. He had the jeans on, he had a kind of an Ireland zip up top. I said, "Hi, you going for a pint?" <laughs> Fucking am a randomer. I knew it. I just knew by his walk. I just know those characters. I know I'm a mile away, and I knew by him. And I just said, "Hey, <laughs> you going for a pint?" Fucking am. He says, "Where you get one? Follow me." <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that everywhere? That's a fucking true, yeah. I I spot him a mile away. I know a fella that's going for an early house in the morning. I'd spot him a mile away. I'd I'd find an early house anywhere. So I would. Really? Yeah, anywhere. And I go in there now, but I'd sit down and I'd total strangers and I'd chat away with the crack inside. And then the boys the boys had the breakfast there. I said they were about Stephen was walking on after me and then Jimmy came down. We'd we'd some crack there. We'd some crack with the locals and I love that. Strange band and having the crack with law. I love that. Jesus Christ, that's mad. And if you were in a different country, would you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I always go into, I love going to strange bars, you know, talking to different lads. And God bless you. Don, Don should do his own podcast. Yeah, he should. Telling them all the time. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah I, it was my plan, but I said it was a good thing I didn't buy the gear because there'd be fair cobwebs in it. Shoot on your own. Who want to get on? Talk yourself. Oh, just on my own. Why not? Ah, oh, fuck it now. <laughs> no you way. can get on and tell stories there for no. hours. You could say, nah, Don's, you story, Don's story of the week. You could just go in and you could pour out your fucking drink and you could be there, right? I'm just drinking my pint here. It'd be like ASMR and you'd be there, just drinking my drink here. I have my cowboy dust here. I washed my lorry this morning. I love drink. I had a brilliant crew. Come on, I I have the best salad. And when I actually came down to it, they just, they got too nervous. I have brilliant people. Brilliant. I too solid to come on. Too solid would be a great foundation to start them. And when I actually came to it, they actually just got too nervous. And as much as I tried to talk them into it, and nah, they fucking, they just wouldn't. They're and just I didn't. O- they're just overthinking it. They I are. do though. Like I know I was overthinking it all day today. You are? Yeah, all and day today. I got cross with him. I got sour. I was sour two friends now uh, the week before. I was sour now. One answer to the phone. <laughs> Jason just kept ringing, ringing, ringing. <laughs> so Jason anyway. <laughs> I, I, the pull in, the pull in, the pull in, and I'm down in the morning. I go in, I'd lower it and I go out and I go for a nap. I did the fucking phone to flight board. He kept ringing and he'll, he'll ring normal. Uh, Facebook didn't messenger. <laughs> Can you ring on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, no, th- sorry, uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp uh, and Messenger and uh, thing. I only found out that you can make phone calls to your Alexa at home. Can you? Yeah, I got this weird number ringing me the other day. A weird number. 
it was like about fucking 20 digits. And I, I just answered it. You know, what the fuck I is this? And it was Clark. Hey, Dad. <laughs> I said, oh, are you ringing me? I just asked Alexis to ring you. Didn't know I could do it. He was after seeing it on YouTube. Go away. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. So them fuckers are always listening. I turn off that all the time. I think I'm getting paranoid. Everyone's listening to me. I have a friend there in Belgium and the camera on the front and the back of his phone, he'll cover them the whole time unless he wants a picture taken. That has ch- child trafficking. <laughs> 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 yeah, but he'll always have it covered and on his laptop as well, he'll cover the cameras. Jesus. He's paranoid about it now, yeah? Yeah, well, look, there there is a precedent there for it. You know, it is a, a weird you, world we live in. Did you see the one, not the one, she messaged her friend, are you going to the funeral? And the one says, no, just uh, I'll go online. Do you watch funerals now on I think she was showering. Yeah. <laughs> what? Everyone watching the funeral online. And she was she fucking fuck. naked, shaving she her fanny. Fuck <laughs> the little box will get you a bit of a trim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and it was live on the church. You could no. see the people logging in, but she logged in right to hear. Just wanted to yeah. hear the the mass while she was getting ready. But a fucking oh my god! Ah, stop. Ah, that's huh? No, you should. You should just start doing it. Jesus, I, I I had it. So I saw, and I wouldn't mind I put up the, the shade and I this thing on, and I walked out my head like I mean I I like planning things and I had the couch and I have my bar the barbecue and and say. For like my, my buddy Jason bring and when he asked him to come on, bring the truck in and to be there in the background. So imagine we're here now, yeah. sitting mm. now on the couch. It'd be great. And the fucking truck in the background. It'd be great, crack. All right. Do you want? Do you, yeah, they, they're overthink it like when, f- when I started doing this, if I had listened to everyone, I'd have never done it. Yeah, but sure. Like I, I hire I hire people and they told me, Oh, keep it at twenty minutes, have it all funny, do the same thing you're doing. And like I'm there. How about I just chat to people? Just chat to people. Or, oh, you can't just talk to different, you can't have different top People always want to put everyone in a little box. Yeah, yeah but, but you're getting, you're getting the people on. No, I'm just chatting to people though. Like, I'm not, but you're I'm getting not, them on. Yeah, but it takes time. It takes time to, the hardest part about doing the podcast for me is, is time, is getting people on at the same time that I'm able to get people on. It's a time. But you're able to get them on. I fail and two lads and I thought now, and to be fair now, the two lads that you ring, if I rang them in the morning, lads. Bring shovels and bring black bags. We would, they'd be on. But when I actually came down, and that's why I actually did, I was actually a bit, I was, and they thought I was joking. Like, they know I'd be good to throw the ties out of the, the pram like. <laughs> I want to hear more about Don throwing ties out of the pram, because uh, <laughs> the only time I've ever seen you disgruntled is you, you, you don't like loud disco music. You don't like loud disco music. I love loud disco music. No, you hate it. Drives you mad. Uh, night out. Oh, the, the night out. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, yeah, no, yeah, night yeah, cause I, I'm the same. I don't like, um, do you know when you're out and yeah. you can't hear anyone talking? But I love you can't the have truck, the crack. I love in the morning, though. Yeah, I, I'm the same in the machine, that, but I don't like when I'm out and I can't hear people. And after 15, 20 minutes, your throat's sore. You're trying to hear yeah, what people yeah, yeah. are saying. Very annoying. Very I, annoying. I very rarely listen to music now in the truck. What do you mostly? A lot of podcasts and books. Would you, would you do books? Yeah. This is, put this up here. Oh, what what kind of books do you listen um, to? I like a lot of autobiographies or true stories and things like that. Like, say, The Tattoos of Auschwitz is my favourite book. Hmm. Like, true story from back then in World War Two. Yeah, it's a great ah, book. It's, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And uh, the trilogy of Itzilka's Journey. And Have you ever listened to Ordinary Men? No. Um, the Gulag Archipelago? Yeah. You'd, you'd love them. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. They're uh, great and I never, I never oh. did a... You should hear the show I'm listening to this time. I, I've never actually read a book in my life. Would you believe that? Sure, listen to it. Yeah. I know, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't just get a chance. I have enough to, I like, I like, I like my, I love my music and I love my podcast now. I get to yeah. listen to music. I, 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 I have, I have times in the day, like in morning early, I like to listen to music. I, I like my podcast because they know it'll be ringing when I yeah. go early. The music again, podcasts on. Yeah. I like them. What you caught was on now the other day. Joy D's is back on with uh, Joe Rogan. I love Joy. Lad. Yeah, Joey's brilliant. Fuck it. He's he so funny. <laughs> He's so funny. Never listened to Joe Rogan. Though. What? Oh, Joe Rogan's interest. brilliant. It's really, and Theo Vaughn is just a joy. He's a joy to listen to. Do, do you listen to Theo Vaughn? Oh, he's brilliant. They're not just Australian for no. No, no, no. He's an American guy. He's Joe Ro- a friend of Joe Rogan's. Right. He has his own podcast. Fucking brilliant. 
It's really good. It's really funny. I can't think what's that other one that two Australian boys. Not for radio. They're funny, you know. They're good old stories. Yeah, I've, I'm listening to an awful lot of audiobooks now. But it's really just for uh, release. Do you like to, um, uh, our audio, autobiographies? No, 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 sometimes. It depends on who it is. Like, I've listened to the last autobiography was Elon Musk's. I'd say that'd be shit. Oh, it's brilliant. I love him. Andre Agassi and I was a very good one. See, I'm not in sport. Look I'm, at me. I'm not, in, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not into tennis, but listen to his whole, the whole story is absolutely amazing. For a fella like who hated what he did all of his life and be so, so successful. Like his father forced him to play tennis. He used to bring him as a kid to the country clubs to play against adults to make money off him. And he hated every day of his life. Where? Yeah, it's, it's what a story. I reckon um, nearly most of the population that do their job are like that. It'd be an awful hate. way to be. Think of, think, of, think of most farmers. Like if you're a farmer and you're being left to farm, it's kind of, you know, what can you do? You can't sell it. But I'd him, say there's an awful lot of farmers out there that are doing it because they have to. I'd hate that. I'd hate that. Yeah. Or people with big companies. You have to kind of take it over. I'd say that happens a lot more than we think. Probably does. But I think his father forced him as a child, like, and he made up a robot, like, to shoot the balls at him the whole time to practice. And his father, you miss, as a child, made him practice, like, Seven, eight hours a day on his weekends or something. Fuck. Yeah, like he was hard on his father now, but to end up so successful, it was amazing. But he didn't enjoy one bit of it. Jeez. And he struggled so much with injury. Wow. He very wealthy. I'd say so, yeah. Tennis is, um, do you like tennis? No. No. Don't like tennis at all. I'm not, um, I don't understand it. But that's the story of my life. There's a lot of things I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that uh, film, King William, with Serena Williams and Venus Williams. Will Smith. Did you watch that? No. No, I didn't see that. That's a good film. And that's kind of the same. He was coaching them from yeah. the time they were children, from the time they were like little kids. Is that based on true story? Oh, yeah. 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 And like they ended up being the best in the world, the two of them. Two sisters. Imagine two sisters playing against each other in a final. Imagine okay. the odds of that. Yeah. In a Wimbledon final, two sisters. Are the two of them still going now? Oh no, I'd say no, that's they're, uh, now, they're, say. they're old for a sports person mm, now. Yeah. Like what? What's the old? Like it's not mad really. I'm 44 this year. And if you're a soccer player, you're nearly past it once you're in your 30s, aren't you? I'd say 36. Yeah, you're no, finished no, it is, yeah. yeah. But you say I'm rugby into nearly 36 mm, is kind yeah. of. And you're lucky if you get to it. Do you know? Like there's very few rugby players in their 40s or 35. Or I'd say Peter Manny's 40 this year, is he? Or? Is he? I'd say he's close to it anyway. Do you like rugby? Yeah. Would I that do. be your favourite sport? Well, all your sport. And, and and when I say that now, I don't ask me what the fucking rules because every time I watch it, I'd be, I would say, what? What was that for? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't. There's a lot of rules in rugby. Yeah, Not flat. And I still, yeah. so I wouldn't say I know, you know, but I do. I think they're savage athletes and they're fucking great sportsmen. Yeah, it's well, soccer, like. it's well. It's well run as well. Drive me fucking mad. And ah. the, the the park bar, the Man United park. Oh, Jesus Christ! What's that? The park bar, my bar, in town. Ronnie's bar as well. The Manchester United bars. But the park, they have the fucking every screen, five screens inside, and I mean they have the, a savage sound system. Now, if we're into the match, it's probably the best place ever to be. <laughs> but I comes in there and I drives him mad. Trying to Carnation Street. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch Coronation Street? No. But just, <laughs> do, you you watch any any do you watch any of the soaps? No, I watch no television. Did you ever watch any of the soaps? Back when, the last time I think I watched Coronation Street was when there was a train crash. In, remember it came off? The oh, thing. yeah. Oh, yeah. And I wouldn't like to live in any of them towns in Christmas. Christmas is oh, a fucking dicey spot to they be. always die somewhere. So, always hurt. Plane crashes, Eastern train Russia. crashes. Are they all still going? Is it my deal and Canadians? I would, going I would reckon Australia. they're all still going, yeah. Fuck Have you me. all your drink drank? No, no. There's one left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind. <laughs> Ches, these boys, I'm feeling like a right loser. I'm just drinking Lucas Head. And I don't even fucking like it. It was the only thing that I could get out of the vending machine now. I'd rush into town. Try can. No, I'm driving. I do my best driving when I'm not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting up straight on tonight. That everyone said in the last podcast, they said I was like you were going to fall asleep. I was so drunk back. You, yeah, you, you were so used to the thing. I fucked up with these chairs. 
They're nice fuck, chairs. They're nice chairs. How about a couch? <sighs> Where would I put? Where would I put the Well, couch? the table, no, I suppose, yeah. You know, I, I thought when I was um, designing this room, I thought I was doing a fucking right job. But I fucked up with the chairs. But I'm going to get different chairs. I'm going to get bigger, thicker chairs that don't go back, but still go side to side. That's the plan. Last I, I, was, I was comfortable on last night. It was lovely. It was well stretched back. I brought this back to all. But, but everyone, everyone I, said I looked so relaxed I was going to fall asleep. I at once. I get the, the new chairs done, new microphones. I think it'll just be an awful lot easier. Because it's a... Well, definitely they're handy or the clip on ones. Yeah, it's just they're fucking really expensive. Yeah, you have to keep looking at me to go like that. To yeah, <laughs> but they're only 600 for two, no? Huh? 600 for two? There's four here. But I'm saying there's 600 for two, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> right, yeah. but, even, but even that, I see, there might even, I, 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 see, I see Eno, uh, Grant even, who is now just doing a normal the selfie with the phone. Yeah. He had it clipped on and he'd... Uh, I think it was doing uh, gash. I think he had it on. It was right handy. You could talk, kind of. The thing that worries me about them is, I I would be terrified of having them on and then the battery go on them or something happen and you have a podcast and at the end of it and the audio is not there. Oh, but I, I'm sure there's a light in them. I should have probably is, but sure, look, I fucking don't be minding things like that. For sure, like somewhere if you set up, you can plug them in like these as well. No, I should have probably is. But like I I kind of go ma figure that out. Uh, they're, they're definitely set up for yeah, have to be. two or three hours, would they? I know, they probably would. But like when I came in here this evening, I was um, I had to make sure that they were charged, to make sure that everything's working right. And I'm not used to doing it. I should be able to come in here and do it without having help. But I just like everything. I'm busy, man. I'm just yeah. busy. But lads, thanks a million for coming on. Before we go, though, we have a few goodies for you. Oh, well, I love goodies. I love goodies. So here you go. Here's in, a te- in a Tesco bag. Yeah, that's all I found at home there before I left. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. We are going to as well. Light up the night truck run, Eden Dairy to Kentark. For, for anybody that has that is watching this podcast, right, and is going to be at the run, if how do we walk this? If the, we'll, you, you're going to get a goodie bag if you'll do what are we get him to do, Dave. What are we get him to do? Wank us off. Oh, no, no. Don't. Well, you First. know, it's a kid-friendly sort of a thing. We don't want that kind of thing going on, do we? <laughs> what do you want to do? First, First person to come up to us, buy us a pint each, get a selfie, and tag David Cuddy in it. No. Yeah. No, it's and good one. And then the first person who does that in whichever pub, doesn't matter. First person get a selfie. First person saw it in the middle. The two of us, creepy and, point, and yeah. tag Dave. And tag Dave. All you have to do is put up on your story. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah. So I'll put up on your story a picture of the lads and tag me in it and I'll pick the winner. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll have some goodies for him. Yeah. Yeah, we're I'll, gonna have a goodie bag for him. And I'll have a goodie bag for him as well. Yeah. No. Spot on. Good start and all you have to do is just tag me in pictures and boom, you could be big, big winners. Let's see. Luminous, don't knock me down, jacket. Very good. I'm very glad that you didn't get me a big fucking um, 5XL like you did with Greg. Oh, I got, not I got that for you. Oh, Jesus, this is Vicky's favourite colour. Protestant. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a million, lads. Really well, appreciate it. Anyone there who do, does want to buy the merchandise on the day, Jennifer Clegg will be down there in Kentark with her stand with all the merchandise there for sale. She's going to be in Kentark? Yeah. yeah. She's going from, to be from what yeah. time? Oh, it's she's, 8 o'clock that morning. She's coming down with us. She's meeting us in Port Leash and she's driving down the road with us. Oh, cool. Yeah. We'd be lost without Jen so far as well. Ah, she's oh, good as she's gold. Unbelievable. Jeez. She's a magician. Ah, that's great. Well, lads, thanks a million for coming on. Best Thank of luck you. to you. Thanks for having us. And, uh, you know, you should get a lot of, uh, you know, you, fair play to you for going and doing things for, you know, because it helps people. Yeah. yeah. I, God. It's easy when there's all good old crowd. Yeah. Mm. We've great support. You know? And it's growing every day now so without the people and the people giving prizes we'd be lost without them mm. yep. you know and also there is our super bundle did, we, did you see that today no we have the super bundle with the IPC tank power washer detergent a brush and what else in it oh the dealer boots and you can buy 20 euro a ticket or three tickets for 50 off Stephen Dillon and then uh, we picked that out today Cool. So. fair prize yeah, yeah that's, fair that's prize. a fair prize yeah that's a fair prize and does it, we have two sets We've loads of cleaning products. Yeah. We have um, chainsaw, 
A fucking chainsaw. A fucking chainsaw. A chainsaw. Yeah, chainsaw. Yeah. They're not joking. People are so yeah. good. Oh, and there's what you call it. Uh, Holland headstones are doing this cool thing. He, I gave him a picture of my truck on a piece of granite, right? He'll digitalize the thing into the granite. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Right? So I'll, I'll hopefully, I think next week he'll have mine. So I'll show. So he's going to raffle after in the winner. So whoever the winner, they put their car, the truck, he's in the picture. Or even if they could put a fucking their dog on it, whatever they want. Hmm. And this plaque, it's on granite and it says, yeah, uh, itched into it. That's cool. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> well, look, uh, the descriptions are going to be below and you can uh, go follow the boys, get involved, support him as much as you can. It's for a great cause. And lads, thanks a million for coming. And thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Look, 